Promoting an album, then releasing it in stores or online is so yesterday. These quirky album releases were by artists who wanted to break some rules. Prince drew the ire of the music industry when he made 2007's Planet Earth available for free. What's more is he delivered it to fans by attaching the CD to an edition of the British tabloid Mail on Sunday. Promoting an album is a carefully crafted process that includes a hit first single, a round of promotional interviews, and probably a tour. But when you're Beyonce, you don't need any of that. Her self-titled visual album just appeared on iTunes one day. It just appeared. Radiohead's laissez-faire attitude was front and center with the 2007 release In Rainbows. How much did they charge? $9.99? A dollar? Free? The answer is yes. They allowed fans to pay whatever they wanted when they downloaded the album. We all heard U2's album Songs of Innocence mainly because it slid into our iTunes libraries in the dead of night. Yep, that's right. Songs of Innocence was not only free, it also pushed the download button for us and voila, it appeared. This one has many a people feeling away. Wu-Tang Clan had the admirable intention to treat music like the art it is. So they produced Once Upon a Time in Shaolin and only made one copy. According to Complex, it was placed in a jewel-encrusted box and the key was stored in a vault in Marrakesh. The album was auctioned off and with a bid of $2 million, it went to then unknown Martin Shkreli, later known as Pharma Bro, later known as the most hated man in America. Shkreli, being Shkreli, didn't share the album with anyone except for a taste here and there. Now that he's in prison for fraud, who knows when or if we will ever hear them tunes. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications from radio.com. While you're at it, why don't you check out some of our other great videos?